an organization that's going to be applying for a 501c3. And we are going to impact the lives of prisoners by teaching them to code. So let me start with the story of inspiration for this idea. My older brother actually spent four years in the South Dakota State Prison uh, for some crimes that he committed, the last year of which he was in, a, in the maximum security prison in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So I would go and visit him, being from South Dakota, once a week, and I would go in there and he would share stories with me from the inside. Stories about inmates in there, maybe they made one mistake in their life and they're serving 10, 15, 20 years even. Um, but as I looked around the room, I didn't see felons, I didn't see inmates, I saw men with potential. High aptitude, sometimes maybe intelligent men, not too different than anyone in this room. And I thought, how can we harness this potential instead of these prisoners wasting their time working for 25 cents an hour in the kitchen or going janitorial services like my brother did? <clears throat> and I thought, why not teach them to code? There's people here capable, I know that. So what problem are we trying to solve? Well, Ron is a recidivism, is a, is a real thing. Um, within the first year, inmates that get released, and this is a national statistic, they will be rearrested within the first year, uh, one in three prisoners. If you bump that number up to three years, two in three prisoners will be rearrested. So this is a big problem in our communities, felons committing crimes again and again. So we want to change that by teaching them a different skill, a real skill, and that's software development, separate from what they're maybe used to as a, maybe physical labor and things like that. Another uh, problem in our community, in Sioux Falls at least, is a software developer deficit. There's not enough uh, developers for the positions. In Sioux Falls, the stat is around 10 job openings for software developers to every one developer available. So we hope to marry up uh, developers that we train in the prisons with these software companies in Sioux Falls that need good developers that are proven and certified. So how do we do this? Well, one, we need to connect with prisons. We need to sit down and uh, pitch this idea to the warden and get them on board. And this isn't too different from programs they already have. We have programs for plumbers, for electricians, for welders. We're just going to be another program for developers, though, a, a different skill set, a different mindset. From there, we're going to go and recruit prisoners. We're going to start with a pilot program of 10 prisoners that show aptitude and the ability and the can-do, the will-do. And we're going to sit them down in the classroom three nights a week, two hours a night, and we're going to teach them how to program. And we're going to leverage the existing education system, Udacity, because it's produced by Google, Facebook, some of the top tech companies uh, in the nation. And it's a self-paced course, so the uh, prisoners won't need our time. We're just going to be there three days a week. So it's at a low cost for us. As they complete classes, we'll give them badges to incentivize them, give them some of their pride and um, stuff back. And as they complete curriculums, we're going to give them certificates uh, that would be valuable on the outside once they're in the Sioux Falls area. So what are our expenses and how do we pay for them? Our expenses are low. Six hours of developer resource time as a mentorship there present on the, the prison grounds and also the operational cost, uh, very minimal throughout the week to connect everything. And we're going to pay for them primarily through grants. There's tons of grants out there for re-entry programs, education, also IT, and specifically dealing with prisoners at a federal and state level as well as a local level. So what are our next steps? First, we need to connect with prisons. Second, we need to apply for a 501c3. Third, we need to raise a small amount of capital to set up workstations. And finally, we need your help. As developers in the room, uh, we need one-on-one -on -one mentorship every other week, just one hour of your time, a life coach uh, to work with these 10 inmates. Thank you, and let's change some lives.